Hi, this is Audrey from the Power Apps team, and I have a tip for you today. We've been sharing extra content out for you, and we're going to continue to double time submitting content to you via our blogs, via video, and via the guided learning, as well as live webinars where you can actually come online and, and talk to us live. Now, what I want to talk about, though, today is ideation, so how you can take that information and invent something entirely brand new. So this week, I released a video about relative positioning, and I'll put the, the link to that in the description below. While MedEye released an awesome blog about how to create an expand and collapse control. And I'll put the link to that in the description below too. Now what I did is I combined those two lessons to invent something brand new. Notice that I have built an app based on the asset checkout template, and I've added a panel that slides in. So I'm going to click over here where it says details, and you'll notice that the panel will slide in. If I click close, the panel disappears. And all I'm doing here is creating a new recipe from a combination of relative positioning and animated controls. So I started this by using the timer control. This is very similar to the timer control that MedEye introduced us to. And I actually used almost the same configuration of this control, except I made the duration a little bit longer because I wanted my animation to drag out. I also set some additional properties on this control. I set an on select that would set a, um, a context variable. And the on select basically just toggles it from being whether the panel is open or not. Right, so that's a toggle on and off. I don't know if you knew this, but timer controls also have a text property, which means it doesn't have to uh, count down the time. It could actually say something different. So this enabled me to use the timer control as a button, which is kind of a fun thing to do. Now, on top of that, I, I, I adjusted something in this template, because by default, the template does not use relative positioning for the image. So um, an easy way to select images now is to use our new tree view, by the way. I'm going to select the image that's found under the products gallery. And notice that I've changed it from being a hard-coded exposition to being a relative exposition. So the exposition of this image is the width of the products gallery minus 150, which gives us a nice little bit of padding here on the right. Now, that helps because when I bring that panel in, if I hadn't done that, see if I can click on this, if I hadn't done that, the panel would have hidden the image because it would have been underneath it. So I actually wanted the whole gallery to react or to move or to get sh shorter as the panel got wider. And so I did that in two ways. So first I added a rectangle to serve as the background of my form control. And then I, I set the width of that to exactly the same thing that Medi used for his expander control, only I made it shorter. Instead of using 600, I used 300. Then since I had a width for that, I went ahead and set a relative width of the gallery so that if the panel was open, it would set that width to the home screen width minus the rectangle width, which would make sure that the gallery was to the left of the panel. I mean, do you see how easy it is to take a couple of concepts, put them together, and come up with a brand new recipe? I challenge you today to do this because as we continue to put out great content for you, it's good to see the recipes that you come up with and the ideas that you have about how to use this information in your own apps. For those of you that contribute those ideas to the gallery, there'll be fun rewards for you, such as amplification on Twitter, recognition in our blog environment and badges, and even more insider knowledge for contributing. So help me out here and share your recipes. It's so fun to make them. I hope you enjoy your app experience and I'll be talking to you soon.